Hey guys, welcome to Belky's Twist. Today we're making Dominican fried red snapper. Mmm, beautiful. We're gonna start off by making slits on both sides of the red snapper. Now we wanna make them nice and deep so that when we season it, all that seasoning goes right deep into that fish. Trust me, it's gonna be so good. Look how deep they are, perfect. We're gonna move on to the other pieces now. When we're ready to season, we're going to add lime juice, minced garlic, black pepper, sea salt, oregano, of course Goya, because I like my Goya products, onion powder, And then we're gonna go with adobo. Of course, my adobo goya. We're gonna mix them really, really well. We're going to cover them and we're going to refrigerate them for four hours minimum or overnight for better flavor. Now when we're ready, we're gonna dredge the fish in flour and make sure we get all those crevices in there because you want that to be nice and fried and crispy for you. And then once you're done with the piece, you're gonna kind of shake off a little bit of that excess flour and move on to the rest. We're gonna fry over medium. Why? Because we don't wanna burn the fish. We want it to cook nice and slow, but still hot. And then once it becomes a little golden brown on one side and we judge and we think, okay, it's done, then we're gonna turn them over nice and kindly. You don't want the fish to break up. In my case, I'm using an electric stove, so I'm making sure that I put my fish on the edges of my skillet so that they don't burn in the center where all that heat is coming from. Just look how beautiful they look. Oh my God, I cannot wait to dig into that. Oh, it's yummy. After I turn them over, I also like to dredge it with a little bit of oil to keep it nice and hot. So if you can see, you're gonna serve with tostones, with rice and beans. Trust me, this is going to be yummy. So I'll see you next time on Belky's Twist.